In this video, I will show you how to rig an insect. So we will rig this stack beetle that here we have in Europe. Uh, sometimes I can find it uh, in front of the trees, not far from home. So you can see uh, this model is fully textured and uh, has proper shader for EV and cycles. You can use it uh, as uh, you want for your, uh, for your purpose, your projects or whatever. Uh, you can see that it's fully here quads, so yeah, nothing to worry uh, to worry about. Good quality. You do what you want with it after. Um, what we would like is to rig and start to animate. So maybe I will make two videos about that. The first one will be about rigging because rigging it's already a little long, and then after we will uh, have a look on uh, how to make maybe a work cycle with that something a little realistic. Uh, now let's come back into the normal shading over there, view shading, viewport shading, and here I will deselect my object with A, and in object mode I will just be sure that I will have my cursor in the center with Shift C, you will can see the shortcuts that I will make during the video here, and I will add here just an armature single bone, okay? So by default you have a single bone like that, uh, that is that you cannot see over the mesh. So just to put it uh, with the good visualization, you go into the viewport display and you enable here the where is it viewport display in front. Okay, and like this we will can see uh, directly over the mesh. So what we will do now? We will create the basic shape, uh, yeah, of the spine. Uh, if we can call it a spine. I don't know if insects has a spine, but we will create one. We'll go in edit mode with tab and then just with R and G we will just put our first bone over here. Okay, so it will be the master of everyone, this one. And we will put it over there until the joints that are already into the model. Then I will make just an extrude and have here the, the head then I will come back to that one and make an extrude over there to have the entire abdomen. And uh, then after, what I would like to do is to add here the bones for the legs. And uh, to do that, I will use the mirror, the X mirror option into the armature itself. And to use that, you just have to go there and use the X axis mirror over there. Then after, I will need some joints, one that will go here, so starting from here, one that will start from here, and one that will start from here. So what I will do to do that, uh, I will just subdivide my bones by just clicking on it and make a subdivision like that, a right click, subdivision, and I will put two subdivisions like this. I will go into side view and just with G, I will just put it above uh, this joint over there, around around there. And the same kind of uh, moving over here, okay? And we will have uh, now what we want. I would like a subdivision here as well, so with right-click subdivide, I will can add a subdivision as well over there. Then I will, so I did never enable here the x-axis mirror. Now I will just can select here the joint, go into top view, over here, and what I will even do, I will put my object in the center here, and by going here, I will search that the cursor become become a cross, and when it's become a cross, you can just do a right, left click and drag, like this. Okay, and you will have a double view like that. So what we want here is to have the top view, and here we'll have the side view. Uh, here, the top view with 7, and here the side view with 3. Numpad 7, numpad 3. And when you want to make an intersection here with X and Y axis mirror, uh, into the X axis mirror, you just do a Shift E instead of doing E. Shift E will make you an intersection like that, okay? And then after, you just have to select here, and with G, you will put it into the right place, okay? What we will do to see a little what's, uh, what's uh, under that, we will do Control 7 like this, we will really see where is the joint. And just by moving it into the right place and moving it over there, we will have 
more or less what we want okay then after i will make an extrude until the next joint again uh, what you can do to change the visualization of your uh, of your armature you can go here into a stick like this you are sure that it will not disturb you and just with gz because here i did manage uh, x and y axis and just gz will can manage the rest of my axis now just with an extrude, I will go over there, okay, with E, and again with GZ, manage it until the right joint. And it will be the same for more or less all the subdivisions that I will add, okay? So I will go over there, over there, make an extrusion to have a kind of fork like that. And uh, with GZ only, I will put the joints exactly where I want it okay this one will need a subdivide so I will just subdivide it okay and I will make a GZ again good this one is not in the right place this one will need a subdivision as well so it's not the value uh, sorry it's <laughs> it's the 2.79 shortcuts this one and with GZ you can just go there and Put it into the right place over here and then after move it here to have exactly what you need then when you did uh, one entire leg like that you can see that uh, everything is going fine into the other side and is exactly the same and we will do more or less the same for all the legs so let's do a shift e again to make the first intersection with gz we'll just go into the right place over here somewhere above around here another extrude until there another extrusion until there and then extrude extrude etc etc you know a little the process already and yeah we will just do like this for all the uh, for all the legs like that so I will just select and be sure that it's the right one that I that I want to use uh, here so to not make mistake yeah you select a bone uh, an intersection a joint you are sure that it's here okay so with GZ you can just go there and maybe make the all selection like that with GZ over there like this you have less to move after and it's quicker okay so just put everything inside the right place okay just with GZ each time and like this you are sure that you are good to go and that you have uh, more or less what you want okay good now we will make exactly the same for the last leg and uh, we, will be, we will be good to go shift E to make an intersection again with GZ we go there okay when you know the process for one it's not crazy to do it for all the rest it seems quite simple and uh, then after we can go through until we have everything ready again an extrusion then I have everything that I need everything is flat here so I will have to manage it with GZ as we know a little already with B I select all this part GZ I put it down into the right average and then we are okay to continue that okay so don't hesitate to go a little faster into the video if it seems a little boring because it's a make it's the same process for all the bones and all the legs so it shouldn't be a problem to reproduce that for you it's quite easy now uh, we have the antennas we have the kind of yeah big shape here to that we have to rig and to do that we will just make an extrude go into uh sorry we'll make a shift e a double extrude okay first intersection will go until there and we will try to take everything there so to take everything there we'll go until here until here and make a, a kind of fork like that 
okay same way with uh, here numpad period I will go to my selection and I will can just uh, tell where is who who is where and with GZ just put everything in the middle of the geometry okay so this one has to be here you can turn around a little to check if everything is right okay so with all of that maybe this time GZ go into right view this is what is good is that when you made everything in top view or into uh, into the bottom view as here uh, you can just after adjust it, adjust it into one angle and here I just only do GZ on that side when I'm in uh, side view uh, yeah side view like that okay and I will do the same kind of process for here the kind of I don't know if you can call antennas here it's more or less this so with shift E I will make a double extrusion go into the base of this and make an extrusion an extrusion and an extrusion okay good then here seems into the right place more or less just a little and then after we just manage manage the joints and when you do this you are sure that all the joints are well into uh, the three angles and you are sure that it will not cause problem after so I just take the center here and we shift E again I go into until there to take the shape of this kind of antenna that we have here so a lot of uh, little bones over here with G I can manage it like this okay make an extrusion again make an extrusion until here maybe ah, I will even do something like that to be sure to take everyone there and to not have too much problems after okay so don't hesitate to have to add some joints uh, enough joints to uh, to take well the geometry inside sometimes what you will do is that you want to simplify your uh, your bone system or things like that and yeah it, it can be good but uh, in some cases after blender doesn't take the geometry and uh, I will show you that it's sometimes easier to add bones compared to paint uh, weight paints and I will show you that just after so here again with GZ we just can manage like that okay so here where is that one okay it's the two here so with GZ I put it here and this one here okay and we continue the process just of moving the right joints into the right place and after it should be good to go uh, what we have now is quite enough to make the first test okay and I will show you something a little interesting now uh, let's say we would like to use this armature as it is and use an automatic process and not use the weight paint uh, to paint the influence of the bones inside the mesh because for me really usually it's a pain and um, and I try always to go over this process and uh, to escape from it by adding some bones here and there if the deformation is not what I want uh, let's make an illustration of that okay uh, maybe I will come back with a more simple interface like here I will go there and when I have the double arrow I just go there and I make here a joint areas on the right and like this I have only one view now to manage good so now I would like to parent my object into object mode here I make tab to come back in object mode then with double selection with shift left click I will can select the both object and then with control P I can make a with automatic weight just before doing that uh, be careful of one thing is that here into the item section when you select your object here has to be zero zero one okay uh, it has always to be like that it means that your object is in the center no scale no rotation and to be sure of that 
uh, if you if you have some uh, localization or rotation values here you just make here control a and you apply what you want to have here uh, this at zero if you have a, if you don't have the proper scale of the proper uh, rotation it can create a mess after so don't hesitate to verify that just before doing this then after you go back into your here armature and with control tab you can access now to a new po to new mode it's the pose mode okay and when you do a rotation you should have the deformation of what you would what you want so it seems that for this space for example we have some deformations uh, some extra deformations that we wouldn't like to like for example here the shell of this space of the thorax uh, creates a problem when I make a rotation like that. So more or less we have two solutions to manage that. Um, the solution that is painful, really painful in Blender, uh, I would say here it's uh, to go into the mesh here with control tab, uh, you go into the mesh and then you go into weight paint okay and then you select uh, your bone the bone name that you have here over there into uh, the into this one like for example here you can see uh, the influence of some bones over there so we have a lot of bones here like for example that one that one is not really a good example but this one is a good example like for example here it's that bone and it has some influence as well here so i would have to go into the paint here options and uh, enable here the tools and uh, select here the right tool and yeah make exactly the same into the other side for all the bones it will be a pain a lot of time uh, to spend on that uh, usually i prefer to use something a little quicker and a little more efficient uh, what i do usually i add some other bones okay to escape from that so i come back into uh, object mode and i what i will do i will add some bones that will take uh, what this one for example here doesn't take uh, this one shouldn't take here this space okay so I will add a bone until there like this another bone will take it and uh, and this bones after if it's too much into the interface we just have to hide it and uh, like this it will not disturb us into the 3d view too much so basically when you see that when you make a rotation like that it deforms the head or uh, when you make a rotation of that one it will deform all the shell here uh, it just needs sometimes just some bones uh, it's quite easy and simple to add so let's go over there and uh, we'll go into edit mode again into uh, our uh, just in pose mode we select everything and make alt air to be sure that we don't have any rotation on that we go into edit mode and we will add the bones that we need now so uh, more or less it will be simple I will just add from this from the center over there with shift e i would just have a bone add a bone here and make an extrusion over there and make an extrusion over there okay and like this it will take well the shape of the shell here and it will not disturb anymore the other then again from this one i will make an extrusion here and an extrusion there uh sorry just a shift e here sorry and an extrusion there okay to have another uh, shape like that then again here from here on top view I will make a shift E and it will go until here and like this I'm sure that this bone will not take uh, this uh, space now I'm sure that this one here will not take the space here okay so just be sure that it follows well the geometry and that you are well inside and like this it should be uh, it should be enough this this bones to to not create a mess into our, our rigging system we we'll just hide it hide them after so let's continue this kind of process by just make an extrusion oops sorry a sh shift e here over there and a shift e over there as well kind of cross shape here okay then here we will have the same kind of situation we'll make just a, an extrusion over there and just a, another extrusion and maybe another one okay to have uh, well the shape of the head 
So maybe what I will do here, I will just put it a little up like that. Okay, like this, it should be okay to take uh, everything here, I guess. Uh, we will see that in the next step. I hope everything, everyone is good in the right place. Maybe with that one, maybe a little cheesy to put it well. And yeah, it should be enough, I think. We will just check everything now. So what we will do again, we go into object mode uh, here with control tab. And then after we select uh, our object and then the armature and with control P we remake with automatic weight and it will remake the weight for the weight for everyone here. So now I can check and uh, go into pose mode again and make the proper rotation that I want. And you can see that now the shell is it doesn't here move anymore and it doesn't have any bad deformation like before, okay? Here again, it works pretty well compared to before. It doesn't deform too much the head as well. Here it was good from the beginning. Here it was more or less good. Even here, maybe sometimes you could, but yeah, more or less this one, we don't have too much to worry about. It works pretty well. So uh, that's it. Just check everything into everything that you should move into this armature if it will deform correctly more or less and uh, then after we just have to uh, be sure that it will be good for the rest we will just hide everything that we did add just now so we see i will just select all the bones that takes a lot of uh, space into the interface let's say so this one this one should be take it as well and I would just not hide it with H but put it into another layer into another bone layer so with M I will go there and go into this layer and like this my interface is clean but uh, the deformation is still the same I can enable the layer that I want here so here is my hide it uh, once and here it's my global armature so for now uh, we have a proper armature that is ready to use but it will be a little tricky to manage this as an animation and we would like maybe to make some uh, to add some constraints into that so to be sure that I will just have the right constraints maybe I will just put uh, I will just put some bones yeah, I will do this later. I will hide more maybe after because this takes a lot too. But uh, for now, let's just focus on what we have here. So I will add some constraints that will help us to manage the bones for animation. Like for example, here, if I want to move my leg properly, uh, his leg properly actually, uh, here it will just, I just have to make this and then after maybe make another like that and make after another like this and another like this and another like this and another like this. Me, I would like to do this. It was, uh, so it was uh, five actions to do this kind of shape, okay? And I would like to do this into two actions in, in there instead of five. So what I would like to add is some, uh, I just make alt air to put back everyone there. Uh, I would like to add here a controller that will help us to manage uh, the legs like a puppet like a puppet a little okay it's just like you will have a controller like you have a puppet with uh, some controllers with some uh, some wires into uh, yeah into uh, an articulation into a joint and you will just manage it like that it will be more or less the same process that we will try to achieve here so it can be a little tricky for people who doesn't know anything about um, about uh, this kind of constraint but I will show you how to do that so how to manage well some constraint we will use uh, two kinds yeah two kinds of constraints during uh, the constraints uh, session that will start now we will add some inverse kinematic and I will explain you what it is and we will add some copy rotation so more or less an invert kinematic what is it what is that? We go into Octahedral to make you understand this. Uh, here you can see, and I will focus 
uh, I will focus on that. Maybe I will go into object mode here and deselect that one like this. Yeah, it will not de it will disturb us less. And here, what you can see here is that uh, you have the arrow like to say just this one is the parent of this one and it goes into this direction. The arrow goes there and this one is the parent of this one. That is the parent of that one, etc, etc. And uh, just after to uh, to understand that, it, it means that if I move that one uh, into pose mode here, if I move that one, all the others will follow. Me, what I would like is to have a controller there that will invert this kind of shape uh, this kind of arrow direction like that, okay? And we'll go until that joint to create uh, the right uh, movement that I want. How to do that? We will go into B-Bone this time. B-Bone has a very good uh, has a very good thing inside is that you can manage the size of the bone as you want. So we select everything and with Control alt s we will can manage here the thickness of the bones just like this to make it really really fine almost like a stick okay and uh, what we would like here is to go into edit mode and we will start to add here the controller to do that we will just duplicate this bone by doing shift d and right click to keep it there and then Control alt s to make it bigger okay so we have here this bone that is bigger than the others and uh, but we have two bones we have the original one that is here and here this one that will be the controller so this one as it will be the controller we don't want any parent on that one so because it will be a master so no parents and uh, we will go into edit mode into the bone section into the relations and remove this the first step is that remove the parents of the controller then we will go here into the normal view here and with control tab we will go in pose mode again so we select that bone and that bone because i will add a constraint this one will be the controller this one will be the one with constraints and i will be and i will add with control shift c with my selection like this double selection control shift c will allow me to add an invert kinematic here inverse kinematic and i will go here and i will find my ik here constraint okay when now i select only this one and i move it you can see that a lot of things are moving because here i didn't define the chain length and the chain length it's the number of joints starting this one so one two and we stop there one two and we stop there now if i move it i have only the leg that will move and it is this is exactly what we want okay so what we would like to is that with this one when i make the rotation all the rest of the leg will follow like this just with g and make a rotation like that i will make everything uh, very good i don't have any other selection to make so just to manage this properly i select this object and this object and i will take this one to control to follow the rotation of that one by making Control shift c and this one will be a copy rotation okay no options to change for the first one and you just have to make a rotation like that and now everything will follow what I would like to is to add a kind of system that will help us to make a rotation very quick. Like for example, let's say I would like to do a kind of hook, uh, hoop shake, like, hook shape like that very quick, just in one click. And uh, to be sure that I can do that, I will just go into the normal shading view. This one to that one with double selection, Control Shift C, copy rotation. And here we'll have to make an add with here local space and local space okay and we will do the same for this one to that one Control shift c copy rotation it will be a add local space local space and again this one to that one Control shift c copy rotation and it's the last one uh, it will be a add and it will be local space and local space again so what it will allows us this it is just not now just a rotation with that one we create this shape directly one click okay just one click 
So what I want, what I wanted to achieve was to make this in two clicks. So here, first action, I move this one. Second action, I make a rotation of that one. And that's it. Very quick, very efficient. I don't have to manage a lot of things, a lot of clicks. I can really uh, play with that easily. And uh, so I will just make Alt R and Alt G to put it back in the right place. Now what we would like to have is have this on all here, the legs that we have. So I will make it myself <laughs> because it will be a little long if I make this in front of you. And when it's finished, I come back to you. Okay, good. So now all the legs are ready. I have two controllers for both legs. I have this one to move the, the, entire, the entire leg and this one to make a rotation and kind of hook shape here for the kind of fog that we have over there. And it will be the same for all here, the legs as well, okay? So works pretty well, very efficient method after to make some nice animations. So what it allows you, it's for example, just to select here, there's two bones and just by moving it uh, here you can see that we will have just the body that is moving but uh, the legs are still stick uh, are sticking into the ground and it's exactly uh, this kind of motion that is very interesting like for example from here to there okay this kind of motion that would be totally impossible if you don't have these kinds of constraint. It, it would be possible, but it would be a mess to manage. And uh, now, what I would like is to manage this with only one bone because here it's separated from this one to that one. So what I will do, I will go into edit mode and take this one and this one. And with control P, I will make here a parent and I make a keep offset like this, this one will be the master of everyone, okay? So it's the first thing. Now for the rest of the body, of the of the head and everything, as it's only uh, this one and this one that uh, will be used, uh, I don't want to change a lot of things. Maybe there's ones here, I will hide them and put them into another layer like this. It will be easier to manage. Uh, these ones as well will not be used because here it's something that is uh, rigid that will not move. So I will put it into another layer as well. And like this, I will have uh, something a little more uh, clean like that. So just by selecting what will not move and hide it, I will just have something cleaner into my interface, okay? And this is the goal is to not uh, get crazy with bones everywhere. So with M, I put it here, that one. And now we have even this one, I will not use it, this one. So all these ones here over there, I will not use it. Uh, this one too, I cannot deform. Normally all, the, all of this is a shape will not deform. So I will just move this into another layer. This one as well, normally I don't use it, okay? So this one to manage the shape of the head. Ah yeah, I wanted to do something. So I will go into the armature, enable the two layers. Ooh, select these ones here. Make Control Alt S to see a little what we have, okay? And I would like to parent them into that one here. So this one at last, I go into Edit Mode, make Control P and keep offset. Okay, like this, just by make a rotation of that one, it will move all the head just like this without any deformation. And again, uh, what I don't want to have is some uh, lines everywhere like this. So uh, just to be sure that I will not have them, I will go here and uh, it will be that one, sorry. And I will just disable relationship lines just like that. So. Like this, I have this one to manage the abdomen, okay? This one to manage the entire body. Then I have the control of the legs that I did show you already. And then I have this one to manage the head as well, okay? And there's ones to manage here. All the rest of the shapes here, okay? So, uh, 
that's it for the basic things. I would like just to add a final master bone uh, that will just uh, be the parent of everyone. And for this, I will go into edit mode. Be sure that I have this in the center by making shift C and I will just add with shift A, it will add me a bone directly. And I'm in edit mode inside my armature. Let's be clear. And uh, I make air 90 degrees just to put it here near the near the ground and with control alt s i make it a little thinner just like that so this one will be the master and uh, all the controllers here and the master of the body that is here okay will be parented to that one and i will make a control p uh, not a control p into pause mode but control p into edit mode like that and i will keep the offset as well like this if i select this bone now i have the possibility to move it so really something really easy to use after because you just have to take the controllers and to make just a, a kind of another pose like that uh, it will be easier to manage very easy you just have to play a little with it to be used uh, on all the on all the controllers and uh, you will see that it's quite handy because for example if i want to put this two up very quickly i have the shape that i want if i want to make the kind of motion that it's there is a weight over that uh, i just have to make a rotation little rotation over there and yeah it will give uh, something really easy to use same for that one if I want to uh, make a kind of motion like this I can things that I that I didn't it, it wasn't possible to make before so uh, really a good and interesting one to use and I really recommend you to uh, to be used of this kind of techniques if you want to have good riggings after so let's say I would like to open this. What I can do too is when I have uh, something that I like, I just make a control C and control shield V and uh, it will just open it like this. Okay. So here it's kind of maybe a rotation over there and control C, control shield V. And here it's kind of, uh, yeah, fight mode, let's say. Okay. So he, he wants to fight over there yeah something like that so he's not happy he wants to buy he wants to buy something and yeah uh that's it for this rigging over there uh in case you are interested in more trainings or more tutorials don't hesitate to have a look into all my videos but over there recently i did release a full a full training to show you how to model this model this beautiful rifle uh, it's with blender and substance painter so you will see all the all the process and the workflow uh, from beginning to the end and just to uh, to be uh, yeah be aware of that if you want to have a look at it I just put a link in uh, into the video as well so that's it for this video into the next maybe a video uh, I will make an animation and show you how to make a walk cycle with this tag beetle. So thank you to follow this tutorial and see you soon.